Okay, so the this video here is just con a continuation of this question by uh, Safi. Uh, that's doing two and three, and so I've just done the first one here, and the second one is uh, the phosphorus. So there's some sort of phosphorus is being burnt in oxygen, and what's the empirical formula? Uh, so you're given 43 percent. So with all these empirical formulas, um, the trick is to assume you've got 100 grams. Um, and uh, therefore, the, the mass of oxygen, uh, there'll be 43.6 grams of phosphorus. Uh, and so minus that will give you uh, 56.4. If you plug that into a calculator, you'll get 56.4 grams of oxygen. Uh, and so the empirical formula, so you've got the masses now, so you can work out the number of moles of phosphorus. It's mass on molar mass. Uh, and so if you look up your data booklet, data booklet says 30.97 and plug those numbers into a calculator and you get 1.408. Um, as a rule of thumb, I always do three sig figs. There are three sig figs here, that's the least, um, and there's four here. So technically speaking, you should have three sig figs in your final answer. Um, always do four to try and round off, to try and get rid of the um, round off errors in your calculator. We'll just leave it in your calculator but um, it's not going to be critical here because this is an experiment with errors in it anyway and we're going to be rounding off so then the max the number of moles of oxygen same deal uh, 56.4 go to your data booklet and you've got 16.00 you plug that into a calculator and you get 3.525 moles of oxygen all right uh, and so the formula will be uh, P1.408, oxygen 3.525. All right, uh, you always divide it by the smallest number, so divide that by 1.408, divide this by 1.408. Uh, if you plug that into a calculator, you'll get P is 1, you get O is 2.5, you can't have fractions. So your final answer is times both sides. Uh, by 2, so it's P205 is the empirical formula.